How you doing? How everyone doing today? I'm back with another video. As you see, do I need to worship on a star or give a goal executed and planned? Wishing upon a star is just like having self doubt. To send forth a goal and plan and execute, that's your will. Wishing upon a star is asking for a miracle to happen. But we can do it versus the wish if we put forth the work. That's, that's mostly our thing is we do more of the strategic thinking of what if I hope this happened? What if this or what if that? Why you just won't make a goal, plan for it, and just do it? Yes, it will be hard than wishing. But it'll show your true character of what you of what your mind is capable of doing. So people, it's just as if you made plans for the week and you start doing things. Better yet, I, I say plans at work. <laughs> okay, you know you got a job to do. If you're on an assembly line, you know it's three, four steps to each part. So your goal is to complete the part, right? So after you complete the part, you reach the goal. So after you do it one time, two, maybe three or four times, you get good at it. You start picking up the pace. You start speeding up, exalting your true potential. You start doing all these things. So after you done did all that, you'll be like, well, I done conquered this, this station or <clears throat> this task that worked to the, the highest of its ability. That's the exact same thing where you, you are making a goal in life. Execute it. Yeah, first, all the pieces of the puzzle are there. Time, material, and doing to create it. That's all is there. Time, material, and doing. If we see a shooting star and everybody made a wish on a shooting star and they actually got it. How many people would just be outside at night just to wait on a shooting star? Because they know that one thing will work. But you know, praying, having faith, and the goal that you so perceive and you want it to work. I take myself as an example. I want to be, I want to be, I am a great mentor and I make great quality blogs with great information. I haven't wished for that. That was my goal and I'm executing it. If I can get across to one person to listen to the vlog, look at it, one, I've done my job. I've done what I sought out to do. And then, on another thing, another one of my goals is making these vlogs is it's for my generation. God forbid if, if I pass the day of tomorrow, my kids will be able to go on YouTube, find out, and see what their father, their grandfather, their great-grand, great-great-grandfather is doing. 
So they always have a reflection of life on a path to go. Always. That's one of my goals. So I'm I'm actually doing something positive for my generation purpose and for other generation purpose. Because it's really how you want to be remembered. Not how you want to wish upon something. We can always wish upon something and, and see what it happened. Hoping. But if we start put some work behind the faith that we have in God or whomever you may serve, I serve God. It's the only thing I know. So I'm not knocking whoever you serve. Well, so forth, they always say infinite intelligence. Whoever, if you got that faith that they, that whatever being that's going to help you <clears throat> is helping you, work it. We look for so many handouts. I just said, point me in the direction I need to go. That's all I'm asking is people to come visit the vlog, visit the channel, like it, subscribe it, and share it. Because you know someone needs this information. Someone you know really needs it. So why not help them? <laughs> Rich, poor, no matter what, everybody needs a great mentor in their life. And see, the best thing about the vlogs, you can, you can be mentored on your own private time. You can always see what I'm talking about on your own time. When everything's tucked away, all the business is being handled, you can see it. Even for business people, wish it. I wish this plan would go through. When you actually being in corporate, you don't have to wish for it. All you have to do is make sure the perfect people in the group is executing it. You didn't got to wish that the, that the deal go through. Then you're knowing all powerful knowing. That's why you have planners. To take out the doubt. To take out this. You put you pay these people all this money for a reason. And I'm and I'm kind of sick of listening to corporations saying team. No. It's groups of people that makes that makes it better not teams because in a team is always someone wants to be out front more than the other a group everyone has a common cause so corporations business people please take that into a consideration stop saying teams start using groups because groups is no leaders it's all people coming together for a common cause. And a team, think about it. Basketball. You have the point guard. You have someone on there that plays way better than the other one. Football team. You can, you have a running back playing way better than a quarterback. Or you have the quarterback playing all three positions. Running back, wide receiver, all this. So stop saying teams because teams are hurting a corporation mindset. They really are. But the group, the tribe, the nation, all comes together for a common cause. I don't care what 
you look at sports shows us that anytime you say team, you're looking at one specific person on the team. Who's the best on the team? But in groups, you automatically level off the plane. You, 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 everything is ground zero because everyone working for the cause. Not for the publicity. So stop wishing for a great team and make a great group. Think about it. The people back in the times during the Carnegie, Andrew Carnegie, J.P. Morgan, Rockefeller, all these people had a great system of a group, not a team. But these are multi-million, trillionaires people. How did you think they made it work versus to what your common knowledge of today's time is? That's something to think about. That really is something to think about. Think about, and then now we have way more technology than they ever would have had. But we started saying, team. We wish for a better this. I wish upon this. I wish. They didn't wish. They executed. They did it. I wish I can do this. Stop wishing and just get off your butt and do it. Don't wish it. Do it. So people, let's stop wasting our time and private thinking. Stop the wishing. Let's just make it happen. This is the Centurion Theory. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment. Whoever watched the video, please leave the comment down there in the, in the comment section. It helps me, it helps the channel. And it also helps this video get out to different people in the world. So, till next time, thank you.